Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do keyword research with ChatGPT4 and how I recommend doing it and some stuff that I use called AI bridging that I've I've coined that term that will help you. It's really, really simple. It's nothing difficult to do, but it can definitely help with the results that you get from AI and will help you when you're building your affiliate site. So before you get into this video, this is a link to a previous video that I made about how to pick a niche. This was the niche it actually picked, high-end home theatre systems. So you will have an option to check out that video if you haven't seen it, where I go through the niche and, and exactly how to pick it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can expand on the keyword research and what I would do using AI. So let's get straight into it. Before we do as well, do check out the description if you're interested in building an entire aff affiliate income stream with niche sites, do check out the coaching. I've put the link in the description. It's four weeks coaching and it will go through step by step what to do. So if you find these videos a bit difficult to follow or if you want a complete coaching course to go through it step by step, check it out. It's in the description. Okay, so Let's go through, how would you do keyword research? Once you've got your niche, how can you then expand on this and make sure that you're getting really great key phrases, make sure that you have the best chance of ranking the site. Okay, so I'll go through step one. The first thing that I do, and you can see this in the previous video is when I got it to um, give me a site map. So what this is, is basically a, um, a, a way of, layering out the site so i've got a site map suggestion i don't have to use it the way it is but the reason i like to ask for a site map is because it will give me some really really good key phrase ideas and how to actually lay the site out so the first thing i do in terms of keyword research and what i like to do with affiliate sites is the product reviews or the product overviews okay so what what I'd have a look at first before I do any keyword research is I would take this home theater in a box systems and I would say give me top five products from amazon.com for Home theater in a box systems. And AI will run off and do the work. And sometimes it does this. Um, I can't give real time data or product rankings, but here we go. It will normally give me some examples. Um, and bear in mind that it's not going to be updated to 2023, but I still like to do it because it will give me an idea of exactly what's out there. And then what you would do is go and check these products on Amazon and make sure that they're selling. Alternatively, what you could do is just go straight to the best sellers for that particular um, section for that particular sub niche. So this is uh, home theatres in a box and you can see here that it's, it's suggesting um, choices to me. So the next thing I would do there is compare it to how well it's selling, compare it to how many reviews it's got, but I'm just looking for the top five products for an idea. The other reason that I like to use AI for this is because it will give me an idea of the sort of products that are home theatre in a box because it's a really great way of finding key phrases that people will type in but you're not going to have as much competition so if you have a section on your site a category home theater in a box and you have the top five reviews um, it can work really really well so here it is just going through and just finishing off some choices so i wouldn't take this as gospel i would go and double check this and make sure that it all stacks up the next thing that you want to do is once you've got, you could either go straight from the best sellers or you could get this for some ideas, is then do the same for each section. So wireless home theater systems, what are some of the top choices? The other things that you can do that works really, really well with AI in terms of keyword research is actually ask, what are some choices for a home theater in a box system, which is a budget choice? 
or a um, medium budget choice or a high budget. I know we're doing high end theatre systems. That was the niche that was suggested, but it can work really, really well to ask those questions and get an idea of products without having to do the, the research. The next thing that you want to do in terms of keyword research that works really, really well is get some questions and long tails from the key phrases. So you've got the product reviews, but when you've got buying guides here, and that's why I like to do this ask for a site map is because it gives me best home theater systems for small spaces, for large rooms. What I can do then, which works really, really well for ranking is I can say, okay, um, I can get this and I can say, give me the top questions people are likely to ask when looking to buy. leave it like that best home theater systems for small spaces so i can actually say give me the top questions people are likely to ask when looking for this particular key phrase and what that does is if you not only will it help you write the content for best home best home theater systems for small spaces bear in mind like we just did you could also ask for some product ideas for home theater systems for small spaces but what this does is ask for the top questions that people would ask. You can verify this from Google and see what's in the sort of featured questions. But it gives you some ideas to actually write. And it also gives you, if you write the content like this and you cover some of these questions, it will make sure that you get picked up and ranked um, a lot easier because you could go through and you could answer these questions. There's enough for a full article here. And then you can add in and, and say, look, recommend me three of the top home theater systems for small spaces, okay? The other thing you could do is search for a high ranking article for the, these terms and then take some of the text and ask for, I'd ask for a bullet point list. I've covered that in a previous video. It's not copying, you're using, you're getting AI to use it as a reference that will help you. The other thing that you can do, so we've got the questions there. So especially with keyword content, best home theater systems for small spaces, we can then take this and ask, help me write an article. Help me write a blog post rather that will help people buy a home theater system for small spaces and help me include following questions. bullet point list and guide as well as a description of what to put in each section would be great. Okay, so I know I put spelling mistakes in there, but I just want to show you, you don't have to worry too much. Um, and then it's, it's given me, help me write a blog post that will help people with this um, buying home theater systems for small spaces and then I've taken the questions and I, I've asked it to okay how can I actually write this and it's given me look introduction briefly explain the challenges of setting up a home theater system in a small space and if you get stuck you can then ask it what would I mention here what could, what you want to move what you don't want to do guys is is just get it to write the content it it won't work in the long run and it won't help you but by doing it this way and actually asking for help. Look at this, section one, top home theater systems for small spaces, maximizing sound quality in small rooms, choosing the right speakers and subwoofers. These are all real concerns, real, because it's using that data from these questions. Are there any wires home to save space and reduce clutter? 
then if you put the relevant products which you can do because you can actually ask okay how would choose how would someone choose the right speakers and subwoofers recommend some products so not only are you doing keyword research here let me go back up while that's working not only are you doing keyword research you're also writing really good quality content and of course you'd follow through in in the same way top home theater systems for large rooms you'd follow the same procedure okay so what we've done in this video is we've used the we've used the site map to get some keyword ideas to get some product ideas and in terms of writing the actual um, sections we've we, we managed to get the top questions that people are asking which is really really important and then we're mentioning them in in the content so you're going to do really really well in terms of ranking because you're giving people exactly what they're looking for other things that you do need to bear in mind when you're looking at key phrases and so on make sure that you verify the key phrases and make sure that when you're picking the products use it for ideas but go through to amazon or whatever affiliate program that you're using and make sure that um you, you know it's getting it's getting sales and it's a popular product but you can see exactly how to do keyword research exactly how to get ranked and exactly how to get a guide on how to write content so i hope you enjoyed it if you want more help with this do check out the coaching because we go through it step by step all sessions are recorded and the end result is you with a profitable site out there so if you're interested in getting this done with me come and join us thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed do give us a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys